Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be talking about the 11 ebooks that I ended up hauling and downloading last month in November. Okay, so seven of these books were free for me to download and that I own currently and then the other four are Kindle Unlimited books that I ended up downloading last month. First we're going to talk about the free books that I downloaded. First we have Ruined by the Ultimate Billionaire by Georgia Stockholm. Um, this is still available to download for free. When Danielle's library is threatened, Justin Blake, billionaire entrepreneur and architect, appears out of nowhere. An impeccably dressed, heavily muscled, steely-eyed savior, an unexpected invitation to his cliffside mansion reveals a man marked by some traumatic secret buried in his past. As Danielle peels away layer after layer of Justin's facade, her world is turning upside down. Their night of brutal passion unveils tantalizing pieces of the puzzle. Justin's last name, Blake, she learns means darkness in more ways than one. She finds there is so much more to Blake than meets the eye. Will she lose herself in the world of wealth, power, and pleasure? Curvy Danielle fears that she doesn't look the part of a billionaire's wife. Does Justin see her as a plaything or something more? She will never know unless she ignores her every instinct. A lifetime of playing it's safe has never prepared her for this. I then downloaded Love Lacey Donovan by Jill Brashier. This is available to purchase for uh, $4.99. My book boyfriends go with me everywhere. I prefer them tall, dark, and handsome, but I don't discriminate. They sweep me off my feet and are always there when I need them, in my purse, in my car, and even in the bathtub. Book boyfriends may not be real, but at least they won't break my heart or get another girl pregnant. I don't do relationships. I get one whiff and run in the opposite direction. It took me seven years to mend my broken heart, and I'm not about to hand it over again. That's why I can't fall for Beckett. With his Clark Kent glasses and brooding stare, he's a superhero in disguise, and his superpower? Melting panties with a single glance. The problem is, Beckett wants to win my heart. His genius mind and washboard abs are a tempting combination, but I'll never fall in love again. Next, I downloaded Medicine Man by Saffron A. Kent. This is now currently free right now. I don't know if it's still gonna be free by the time you watch this video, um, but right now it's still currently free. I've never read a Saffron A. Kent, but I have heard great things about her book, so that's why I downloaded this. Willow Taylor lives in a castle with large walls and iron fences, but this is no ordinary castle. It's called Heartstone Psychiatric Hospital and it houses 40 other patients. It has nurses with mean faces and texts with permanent frowns. It has a man as well, a man who is cold and distant, whose voice drips with authority, and whose piercing gray eyes hide secrets and maybe linger on her face a second too long. Willow isn't supposed to look deep into those eyes. She isn't supposed to try to read his tightly leashed emotions. No, Willow Taylor should not be attracted to Simon Blackwood at all because she's a patient and he's her doctor her psychiatrist, the medicine man. Next, I downloaded The Christmas Blanket by Candy Steiner. This is currently available on Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $2.99. When I decided to surprise my family in Wellhaven, Vermont for Christmas, I never could have known that I'd get a surprise of my own in the form of an unexpected blizzard. I haven't been home for four years, not since I left this town with my eyes set on adventure and my heart set on forgetting the only man I've ever loved. River Jensen, my ex-husband. I don't plan on seeing him during my visit. I definitely don't plan on him saving me when my little rental car slides off the icy road. The last thing I could have prepared for is being stuck in a tiny cabin with him waiting out the storm. Four years have passed since I've seen him. The boy I loved, now a man I don't know at all. But being stuck inside with him leaves us nothing but time together. Everything about him has changed and yet he still has the same green forest eyes that have haunted me since I left. Back then we were at an impasse. Back then, there was nothing left to talk about, nothing left to fix. Back then, the only choice I had was to leave and start anew. But the more I rediscover the man I left behind, the more I question why I ever left at all and if I'm too late to find my way back home. Next, I downloaded Tall, Tatted, and Tempting by Tammy Faulkner. This is still available to download for free. She's locked up tight, but he might be the key. Logan Reed is tall, tatted, and tempting. Kit's a woman with a mean right hook and a secret. Kit wants a tattoo, but Logan sees more than she intends to share in the drawing of the tat that she wants. He sees her the way no one ever has. Logan's not disabled, but he has not spoken in eight years. He hasn't needed to until he meets Kit. Logan doesn't know everything about Kit. Kit doesn't know everything about herself. 
until she has to sacrifice all she's ever wanted to save what's most important to him. Okay, so this book is actually a book that I ended up downloading through my library and it is called When We First Met by Cara Bass Stone. This is the um, prequel book to the Forever Yours series um, about a couple we met in book one. School's after the summer and public school teacher Kat Laff Fierve. Man, I am not good at pronouncing names. I do not know how to say her name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, she is ready to blow off some steam. A few nights of no strings and mindless distraction with a guy is exactly what she needs. Lucky for her, the perfect specimen lives across the hall from her. He's gorgeous, a little ridiculous, and according to her neighbor, very good in the bedroom. Quentin Foster has had a thing for Kat since they hit it off a few months ago. She's smart, funny, and loves exploring the neighborhood just like him. He thought he had a shot until she admits she's interested in hooking up with his clueless chick magnet roommate. Kat thought she needed a fling, but as their connection deepens, Kat realizes Quentin may be a real thing. The thing is, she might have ruined her shot with him. Okay, all the rest of the books I downloaded off of Kindle Unlimited. Okay, we have a <laughs> holiday paranormally romance we have becoming mrs claus a sci-fi alien holiday romance by liana lee christmas is coming to rega five well it's the winter solstice but we're calling it christmas and my job is to bring back the perfect christmas tree no problem right until i meet my partner in crime trad jack is everything i'm afraid of he's a massive beast of an alien warrior with sharp fangs and the biggest claws i have ever seen i freeze like one of those little goats the first time i see him how embarrassing but my body reacts in more ways than just fear. And I'm left wondering if it's true what they say about guys with big claws. <laughs> then on Kindle Unlimited, I downloaded Double Dare You by Ruby Dixon. This is the last book in the Bedlam Butcher series. Becca isn't the daring sort. She's a chemistry nerd on vacation from college. She certainly wasn't supposed to be stolen by a rival, rival MC and sold as a plaything. Now she needs a hero or two. Locke and Epic might be right partners, but they're not friends yet. Epic is freshly patched and Locke's carrying a lot of baggage from the betrayal of his last partner. But when they're given a new task to find Becca and bring her home, the men have to work as a team to protect her. And as the three of them spend time alone, they realize that they're not only better together, but that a few teasing dares just might bring them closer in a lot of ways. I then downloaded A Deal with the Demon by Chase Verity because it finally got put on Kindle Unlimited. As a single mother working two jobs, Heidi Murphy can barely keep her head above water on the best of days. When her full-time job fires her and her kids get in trouble at school, Heidi begins to drown in stress. She needs help and help arrives in the form of a QR code that summons an unexpected visitor. Heidi's world gets turned upside down when she meets Dristan, a demon from another realm. Upside down in this case, however, is for the better since Dristan is supposed to bring her success. His visage is strong and almost frightening, but he quickly becomes a valuable member of the household with his excellent cooking skills and devotion to making sure the Murphys are happy. Heidi has 28 days to find success before her contract with Dristan ends, Four weeks seems like plenty of time to find another job, but as Heidi starts to fall for Dristan, there it doesn't seem to be enough time in the world for what she really wants, him. This sounds so cute. <laughs> Next is the book I am currently reading, which is Stocking Stuffers by Eric McLellan. Sasha Holiday is so over the holidays after getting left at the altar last Christmas Eve, but as the marketing maven for Lady Robin's intimate implements, <laughs> she's not so merrily pitching things, at a romance a book club's Christmas party. Her loathing of the Yuletide only intensifies as a snowstorm rolls in and traps her at Winterberry Inn. Stranded with her is Perry Winters, a hot bearded book club member trimmed in flannel and tattoos. Perry's a romantic with an unerring belief in the magic of the season and he recognizes a Christmas miracle when he sees it. Brave, smart, and confident Sasha Holiday is a gift. And the gifts keeps on giving when she suggests they pass the time with some no strings fun. After all, she has a big bag of things that would make even Santa want to stay in bed on Christmas Eve. But the frisky festivities turn complicated as feelings spark between Sasha and Perry. Perry wants to see Sasha once the snow clears, but Sasha is reluctant to take the relationship sleigh ride again. Perry will have to show her that love is more than just a holiday feeling. And then the last book I'm gonna talk about is another Christmassy hot novella. We have Santa Claus is going to town on me by ml eliza i read uh, no getting Ogre you by ml eliza and just 
loved it. So I definitely wanted to read this one. When Holly wakes up on Christmas Eve to find an intruder in her home, she does what anyone else would do, grabs her replica medieval broadsword and sneaks downstairs to deal with him. But he isn't a burglar. He wears a big red coat, big brown boots, and his big brown belly shakes like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> He's Santa Claus. He's thick and He's hot. <laughs> what begins as a simple misunderstanding develops into a passion Holly knew she never needed with a man who knows her every want and desire. But Holly has a secret, one she can't ever let Claus discover the true reason she hates Christmas. So there you have it. Those are all of the books that I ended up downloading last month in uh, November. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you have watched this video up until this point so far, leave me a Santa Claus emoji. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all!